Incorporated in 1990, TerraTech is the renowned Australian tunneling boring machines and raised boring machines designer and manufacturer. During the last 20 years, TerraTech has designed and manufactured TBMs for specific ground conditions for projects around the world, including soft ground. One of the most popular TBMs is the Earth Pressure Balance, EPB, which is suitable to excavate in soft and mixed geologies for tunnels constructed under the city. In cooperation with Japanese manufacturers, TerraTech has developed an EPB tunneling system, which is one of the most reliable and efficient in the market today. The TBM is divided into two main parts. One is the shield, which is in direct contact with the soil and the excavation face and isolates the interior of the machine from the ground with a steel skin. The other main part is the backup system, which is a rolling structure that follows the shield and which carries all the auxiliary systems to allow the continuous advance of the TBM. On the front of the shield, a cutter head equipped with its cutting tools rotates and excavates the ground from the tunnel face. TerraTech's cutter heads are designed specifically for each geology, and its cutting tool's configuration and opening ratio depends on the project needs. The cutting tools consist of blades, which tear the material from the face when the cutter head rotates, and scrappers, which convey the excavated material to the muck chamber. For those sections where the ground is competent enough, TerraTech's cutter heads can mount roller disc cutters instead of the blades. These can be easily replaceable from behind the cutter head when required. TerraTech's own design backloading disc cutters can be single, double, or triple, in sizes which range from 13 to 19 inches. The disc cutters can be monoblock or ring replaceable type. Depending on the geological conditions, the most suitable combination of disc cutters is selected. When the ground conditions require it, water, foam, or additives can be injected through multiple points on the cutter head, giving to the tunnel face more stability and allowing a smoother material flow, minimizing the wear of the cutter head structure and the cutting tools. The cutter head structure is supported by a large three-row roller bearing and the rotation of the cutter head is produced by the action of several electric motors driven simultaneously. The advance of the EPB TBM is produced by the action of the thrust cylinders. These cylinders are mounted in the rear section of the shield body and react against the tunnel lining, transferring its pushing force to the cutter head and allowing the TBM to keep advancing. When the tunnel alignment requires the negotiation of curves on the way, the shield body may be divided into two sections, front and rear. In this case, both sections of the shield are connected by hydraulic articulation. This articulation transfers all the pushing force of the thrust cylinders from the rear body to the front one, allowing the thrust cylinders to keep pushing evenly through the segment lining. The installation of the tunnel lining is produced by the erector arm, which is located in the rear body of the shield. Once the TBM has completed the excavation of one full stroke, the thrust cylinders retract in groups and the erector commences the installation of each concrete piece, which are known as segments. The erector takes each of the segments from the segment feeder and places each one on its position until the last one, called key segment, which closes the ring and allows the TBM to commence another boring cycle. In this way, the TBM installs one ring after another, allowing the tunnel length to increase until the complete tunnel is finished.
The evacuation of the excavated material is done through a screw conveyor. From the screw conveyor, the material is transferred to a belt conveyor in the backup. And from there, it can be dumped into muck cars or into another conveyor installed on the tunnel wall. The tunnel conveyor, which extends continuously as the TBM advances, is the preferred solution, especially for long-distance tunnels where this method is much more efficient than the conventional evacuation by muck cars. The segments and other supplies which allow the advance of the TBM are transported to the TBM by the supply train. This train typically comprises of a locomotive pushing two segment cars, a grout car and platform to carry other materials. In addition, when the evacuation of the muck is by the train, several muck cars must be also included in the train. When the train arrives at the backup system, a crane picks the segments up one by one and carries them to the segment feeder. The segment feeder forwards the segments sequentially one by one up to the erector. Depending on the size of the TBM, the capacity of the segment feeder can be for half or for one complete ring. During the segment unloading operation, all of the materials from the train are transferred to the backup system. Once all the supplies from the train have been unloaded, this departs from the backup, allowing the next one to come in. Terratech EPB tunnel boring machines provide the most advanced design and reliable technology to allow the efficient excavation of kilometers of tunnels in any type of soft or mixed ground. Terratech. Bore longer. Bore faster.